everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I have Charlotte here. Hi guys, I'm in Korea. I've been here for two and a half weeks. Yeah, so I was like we have to film another video because I love it whenever you share your knowledge to my subscribers and they love it too. So today cool. we're talking about best ingredients during the winter time. Yes. So during the winter time, a lot of people experience dry skin. Even mm -hmm. people who normally don't have dry skin feel like they have dry skin during this harsh mm -hmm. weather. Um, so I have, I normally have dry skin. Me too. So I always look for products <laughs> that are hydrating, even during the summertime when it's humid out. Yeah. Um, so this is perfect. Do you want to start with E Nature? Yeah, so E Nature is a brand I curated a Soko Glam about a year and a half, two years ago. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was really intriguing because birch juice, I noticed, is a is an ingredient that is found in a lot of skincare products. Mm -hmm. um, but E Nature decided to pull out this ingredient as a main ingredient. Mm. So this one has 91% birch mist. juice. Yeah, yes. in this mist. And it's super hydrating. It's like basically splashing birch juice on your face. Yes. And um, this uh, Moringa Cleansing Balm also contains birch juice. Yes. So uh, basically, Basically what birch juice does, it really deeply hydrates your skin. People say it's like the next coconut water. Oh, okay. Like if you go to Whole Foods, they'll have like birch, birch juice, juice now. Oh. Yeah, and it's like literally tapped straight from the source. And then um, a lot of times Korean brands, they replace water content with birch juice because That's it's good. more hydrating, but it kind of has, it's like access to sol solvent. Mm. I feel like a lot of Korean brands replace water with something else. So like birch juice is one, yeah. green tea sometimes. Yeah, green tea and water, licorice yeah. water. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. One of the products that I like is this one by Coserec. Yes. It's the oil-free ultra moisturizing lotion with birch sap. Is that the same thing? It's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I have this much left because this is one of my favorite gentle lotions. Right. Before the moisturizer. During the winter time, I like to double moisturize. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. after the toner essence, I'll use one of these lotions and then a moisture cream. Yes. I actually love this because it kind of is good before makeup because oh. it really kind of acts as a primer. Right. And it's yeah. so convenient to use because it comes in a pump. And you guys all know how much I love Coserex. And it's not. Um, it doesn't have like, it doesn't break me out. Yeah. Mm. And what I love about this, oh, by the way, if you guys are looking for the birch juice ingredient on the back of the label, it is like officially called Vitilla Plata. Pilot I'll put it right here. Juice. Yes. It's a long name and it's very hard to pronounce. I'm totally butchering it. But the, yeah, that's the actual like scientific word that you'll see in the back of the bottle. Oh. They won't call it birch juice on the back. Ah. So it's Vitella Platophila Lipchoponica juice. I'm totally butchering it. This one is 70%. And this one also, they don't say it on the packaging, but on the product description, they're always calling out. We put 91%. That's good. Yeah. So you know it's not all water. Yes, because and there are mists and products that oh are majority God. water. Yeah, there's so many products out there that put literally 99, 95% water. That's so bad. And I think that's why it's so important to get a curated selection mm, because definitely. people are, you know, if, if people are actually looking at the ingredient list and helping you figure out how it's formulated in yeah. a good way, then it's better for you. Yes, so birch juice. Look out for it or this word right here. Yes, <laughs> that long one. That long one. <laughs> All right, so transitioning to um, this product right here. So you said this has a 17% yeah. birch juice. The entire bottle, there's 93% fermented ingredients. Mm -hmm. So fermented products are my like one of my favorite because yeah. they naturally produce amino acids, vitamins, and minerals. And this one has 93%, 17% of its birch juice. And then the other percentage is 28% um, fermented yeast, mm -hmm. which is in the Misha essence. Oh, okay. So yeah. the like SK2. Yeah. Okay. And then 32% is this other yeast. It's like Bofita ferment lysate, mm -hmm. which is like another hard word, but that's another fermented yeast. And then 9% fermented, sorry, there's so many percentages, 9% fermented rice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Rice. Yeah. So good for brightening. Good for brightening, good for hydration, and it's like 93% fermented, which I think is really cool. Ah, yeah. yeah. Usually anything fermented is good for the skin. Like even wine, you know, yes. it's good for the skin. So that's why when it comes to the Neo oh, Neogen, yeah. Neogen gauze peels, mm -hmm. I like the wine one because it has that anti-aging benefits as well. Yeah. It absorbs better into your skin. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, and she has been raving about this product before it was out in the stores um, and I was lucky to receive it but I never really had a chance to test yeah. it out until the past two weeks because uh. you kept raving about it but 
a little bit goes a long way. Like yeah. I just like one drop and then it just my skin just drinks it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I use this quite often already and I still have basically the whole bottle left. Yeah, I actually like douse my like skin. Like I literally do this. It's yes, like, show us. I like I'm like this and then oops, sorry, I'm oh, okay. it's, it's good moisture. Yeah, but I'm like literally all over and I mm. do it again and then I also like layer it because it's so layerable. Mm -hmm. That's what I like about it. And the, the, oh, something I noticed about this product is usually when you layer products, you kind of have to wait a little bit and keep tapping. I don't have to yeah. wait as long with this one. It's just mm -hmm. like, okay, two seconds. All right, go. And then keep layering. Yeah. And I forget how many times I layered it because I can just, my skin just drinks it up so quickly. Right, right. And then like you said, it little goes a long way. So like, I just try to like almost douse my skin. Yeah, <laughs> I was shocked when you posted an Instagram photo and yours was like halfway gone. It's I was like, oh, all gone. impossible. <laughs> it's all gone. Well, I've been using it for like three mm, months. Yeah. And yeah. I literally am like dousing my skin. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so this is known for birch juice, as, but mainly uh, fermented, fermented yeast. Yeah. All right. So next we're going to talk about hyaluronic acid. Yep. And this is an ingredient that I know about because this year I feel like so many beauty companies have mm -hmm. been stressing like hyaluronic acid. Mm -hmm. So that that term, that mm -hmm. that ingredient has been like something that I've been on the lookout for. Right. And um, these two are the ones that are in my bathroom right now. Okay, cool. Um, so I'll talk about this yeah. because you know more about yeah. this. Um, this is the Coserex One Step Moisture Up Pads and it's like my favorite toner, makeup remover. Mm. Oh, you use this makeup before remover? and oh. then I use oil cleanser. Cool. Um, great mask mm -hmm. because you could just like put it, it on. on. It's also great for travel. Like yeah. I could rave about this all day, but I know yeah. that this is formulated with great ingredients like hyaluronic mm -hmm. acid and you said propolis. propolis. Yeah. yeah, so that's another great hydrate ingredient. Um, honey is a natural humectant. Mm -hmm. Propolis, you can see it's similar to that. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a vegan ingredient because oh, it's okay. made by bees, but it's just basically the wax that you would see on like a beehive mm -hmm. that actually fuses the beehive together. Oh, it's like okay. that hard wax. Oh. So it's even more like dense basically and then they extracted that and they put it in, in this. oh i didn't know that so if you look in the ingredient list for this one the first ingredient is propolis which is oh, pretty impressive that is because on the packaging it's like flaunting hyaluronic acid and nothing about propolis i know that's why i was shocked when i was reading the ingredient oh, list oh yeah. yeah my turn oh, well <laughs> like the han skin you know this one the best of uh k beauty for so glam and uh, i just love it because the texture is thicker yes so i do feel like it's layerable than the misha essence mm -hmm. and um i like how both of these both of these are pretty much like fragrance free which mm -hmm. I like and I think Misha has a slight fragrance and I love how it has hyaluronic acid plus sodium hyaluronic oh, okay. so it's basically the same thing they're like humectants mm, okay. so humectants are designed to not only give your skin moisture but it's also meant to hold on to it oh so I think that's important I think that when you have an hydro ingredient you have to ask yourself like is it actually sticking around yeah is it actually like mingling with your skin and is that going to make an impact? Mm -mm -mm. And I think that's why people love hyaluronic acid because it does like maintain it. Yeah, it, it, it like creates this little barrier yeah. for the moisture to stay yeah. on your face. And that's like just as important as mm. it being moisturizing. So this was in my November favorite. Oh yeah. Um, look how much I use. I know. And it looks it's, so little, but <laughs> it's like I drenched my skin in this, and like I finally got it down to here. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. There's, it, it seriously is a huge bottle. No, I agree. Like. These are all, yeah, they're all huge bottles, so. I think it's because um, with skincare, sometimes you just have to be generous with it. Mm -hmm. Even like sunscreen, for example, you're not gonna get the same protection if you just put a little bit. A little so bit. You, it's like in Korea, I feel like they're more like, just use a lot. Yes. And you know, it's not that, it's like, I feel like they're pretty affordable. Yeah, for the, sure. The Compared to like, the Western brands yeah. that I've seen, like toners can go for like 60 bucks yeah. sometimes. What is this one? Okay, so this is kind of a personal favorite. Um, I found Aquel through Lopes because they're in all oh, Lopes. Yeah, they're also yeah, in all yeah. young now. Mm -hmm. And um, they're just like a really awesome brand because they focus on fermented ingredients again. Me and the fermented ingredients. <laughs> um, and this, smell this. I can't smell oh, it. Oh, wait. Wait, is it open? <laughs> oh, it's not open. <laughs> Whoops. It's a new bottle. Um, Ooh, I'm excited. Licorice. Yeah. It's li Okay, so this is called a Licorice pH Balancing Cleansing Toner. It's a long name. But what you... Oh. It smells really good. Yeah, it's just very natural. It's not artificial. 
it's just I don't think I can smell it that well. Yeah, it's just very natural. Mm -hmm. So I love the scent. And then it it's a licorice pH balancing cleansing toner. So that means the pH is 5.5, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, also it has licorice, which is a natural brightener. Mm -hmm. I love licorice and everything. Misha actually essence usually I had to, yeah. Misha Essence used to have licorice and they took it out for some reason. Oh. And I just love licorice. Um, so this has 10% licorice water in it mm -hmm. and it has licorice extract in it. And um, it's fermented. Plus, it removes makeup and it tones the skin. So this is like all of your favorite yeah, <laughs> yeah. in one product. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I use it to remove my makeup. And for some reason, this product also helps, like, even after I shower, mm -hmm. and that means I double cleanse, went in the shower, came out of the shower, and then I use this to tone. Mm -hmm. I put it on a cotton pad, and it, like, leaves crazy, like, streaks on the pad. And I'm like, this is really gross because really? I literally double cleanse and I took a shower and I'm like, why is this still like removing impurities off mm. my skin? And I'm like, that means I'm not cleansing properly <laughs> even after I double cleanse and do the Yeah, like, no, but that's what the Sonin Park beauty water did for yeah. me. And so that's why I feel like it's yeah. comparable. You should, you should try it. I'm super yeah. excited about this. And one thing that I like really highly encourage you guys to do is um, remember to get your neck. Oh, yeah. Like, sometimes it's hard to wash it over the sink. So mm -hmm. I think another way to do it is, like, douse your cotton pad mm -hmm. and, like, literally put it... Just, like, get around your neck and yeah. on your neck. And so much stuff is mm -hmm. there. Um, next, we have Snail Mucin. Yes. I feel like this is everyone's favorite. I love this product, too. Like, yeah. look at... See, when it comes to Coasterx, like, all the Coasterx products right now, it's like, this much <laughs> left, this much left, yeah. and, yeah. like, half halfway. Yeah. So... And it's affordable. Yeah, it really is. This one has 96% snail mucin. Okay, so snail mucin, I know that it's good for acne scars. Mm -hmm. It helped brighten mine uh, mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know it was good for like hydration. winter moisture. Oh my gosh, it's like mainly for mis winter oh, like hydration. hydration. Um, not just winter, but like what I like about it is that, like, what you said. It's mm -hmm. good for acne. So even if you have oily skin, you can really benefit mm -hmm. from snail mucin. People often think that like I have oily skin, I don't need hydration. Mm -hmm. But actually that's totally different. Oil yeah. Yeah. and just like hydration moisture is two separate things so you still need to hydrate mm -hmm. and a lot of oily skin notice that oily skin types notice that when they put snail mucin on it's hydrating yet it doesn't break them out yeah and also snail mucin has like this very interesting texture yeah so it's like very oh my gosh yes it's gross kind of yeah i feel like you should get like even closer yeah it's like oh, sticky I'll, I'll give you guys demonstrations throughout yeah. but yeah it's like a very interesting texture but once it is on the skin and fully absorbed like it feels so good and i just love the way it feels yeah i agree mm. um there's so many of our snail products on on so glam mm -hmm. it sells out because oh, really? yeah i feel like american brands still don't jump on that trend. i think it's because people think it's so weird mm -hmm. and it's not the snail yeah yeah yeah, it's yeah. Not like crushed up snail. It's not. No. Yeah, so it's just. Yeah, and it's funny because some American brands they do put snail secretion filtrate in it, oh. but they don't advertise that. You know, oh. they don't talk about it. Oh. But they know it's a good ingredient, so they put it in. But they, mm. it's I guess it's just not palatable for the U.S. consumer. Not everyone, right? Yeah. But some yeah. people love it because it's so unique. Um. Finally, we have sheet mask. Mm -hmm. So this one right here is drenched in ceramide, and I know ceramide is really good for moisture. You naturally produce ceramides. Mm. Yeah. Like your skin already has ceramides, mm -hmm. and that's why I think it's so great because like mm -hmm. you're literally putting something that your skin already naturally produces yeah and this one is from a brand called very mom mm -hmm. and very mom is a korean brand that is good for moms and also they have products for babies i was mm -hmm. introduced to very mom from my dermatologist oh, cool. and she basically uses it and helps moisturize my skin and i noticed that the next morning my skin just looks super glowy mm. dewy and it looks a lot brighter so this is actually my favorite sheet mask of 2017. cool yes. i haven't tried it before you can take it <gasps> wow I'm, is it uh it's like a microfiber um it? it's like a cotton oh, but yeah, yeah. the greatest thing is is like sometimes i like leave it on and fall asleep with it like by oh. accident and i wake up in the middle of the night but it's still so chocolate oh. so the um moisture is like it doesn't stay right. and absorb onto the sheet mask. It just focuses on going into your skin. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. I, I see licorice root extract. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I see Centella Asiatica extract, which is good great for, for inflammation and acne. Right. Yeah. So yeah, it looks good so far. And I see the ceramide in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't see any um, 
paraben so i can see like why mm -hmm. it's geared towards like mothers yeah or... so the next sheet mask is this one from coaster x and i really like this especially for travel mm -hmm. because it's step one two and three Ooh. step one is the low ph cleanser oh, yeah. step two are two of these pads oh, cool. and the third is snail sheet mask oh. so it's literally everything we talked about in one oh, little pack awesome. right here i love this i mm -hmm. i love mr rx oh yeah me too we almost forgot the moisturizer yes the misha clear cream this is actually one that so yes it did beauty. Oh, this one did two so one two yeah and this three yeah <laughs> <laughs> and this is um made with birch juice oh so, okay so it's this is number one ingredient it's a top ingredient so look how clear it is i think we mentioned this before mm -hmm. in your other video but it's very lightweight um, but super charged with birch juice so i think uh, a lot of people like it because it really absorbs quickly and it's very lightweight mm -hmm. but keep in mind that it is a little bit stickier because it's made with birch juice I, I was reading through some reviews about it and people were like, I love it, I love it. And some people were like, but it's too sticky for me. Some people are saying it's too sticky. Uh, yeah. And I can see why because this is not a regular moisturizer that's like made with one hundred like eighty percent water. Yeah. It's made with birch juice. So you are gonna get a little bit of stickiness, mm -hmm. um, a little bit of tackiness, but it doesn't like bother me for some reason because I I think I know what's no, causing I, that stickiness. I you know totally what I mean? get you because my yeah. brother has oily skin, so yeah, yeah. he hates it when yeah, products make him feel so sticky. Right. But I have dry skin. My mom has dry skin, yeah. so we both love <laughs> products that are sticky like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah. don't mind it, and like eventually the stickiness yeah, goes it totally away. goes away. So I mean, initially, I'm okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I'll make sure to link all the products we talked about in the description box as well follow uh, Charlotte on Instagram she uploads a lot of photos of the products that she's finished using and you guys can ask her questions and she does respond right yeah like, I comments do. I yeah definitely do so yeah right. um, I'll see you guys in my next one bye, bye.